Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord so much again for today. The Lord has blessed us to be again together in this very month, which is next to the end of the year. So we bless the Lord so much for the protection has given us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for bringing us here once again to hear your voice. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of salvation. And we thank you for protecting us and our people all over the globe. Now, Lord, as we are going to minister you all to your people, Holy Spirit, we invite you that join us and preach the heart of the Lord to the people of God. Father, we promise at the end of the day, may all the glory remain yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the church of the gospel messengers of holiness and righteousness. Not forgetting that the set man in the house is Reverend Moses Semanda Mbuga. And we bless the Lord so much for his life. Together with the wife Hopkins Joyce. And the family at large. We also want to bless the Lord for Pastor Elijah Kambugu. And his wife Gladys. And the children. And the members in the family. We bless the Lord for the ministers of the gospel messengers. And we thank you so much for the media team. Who are doing a great job to make sure that you see us wherever you are Amen. Amen. Not forgetting the ashes, the worship team that make, make the environment conducive and also when we come to worship, the presence of the Lord is felt. I believe I have a word for you and myself. And it will bless our spirits. But before we preach the word, I will sing a song. In the hymn books. Those who know it in English, you can sing with us. Those who can sing in Luganda, you can sing with us. Amen. Amen. Let's go. The book of Revelation, beginning from chapter number 
We shall read all, us, all of us together. I want us to read the whole chapter. From verse 1 to verse number 17. Okay, we go. Then, then I witnessed in heaven an event of great significance. I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant, and she cried out because of her labor pains and the agony of giving birth. Then I witnessed in heaven another significant event. I saw a huge dragon with seven heads and ten horns, with seven crowns on their heads. His tail swept away one third of the stars in the sky, and he threw them to the earth. He stood in front of the woman as she was about to give birth, ready to devour her baby as soon as it was born. She gave birth to the son who was to rule over nations in the world, and her child was snatched away from the dragon and she was to God and to his throne. And the, the woman, woman fled into, into the her wilderness, wilderness where, where God had prepared, prepared a place to care for her for 1,260 1, days. Then, then there was war in heaven. In heaven. Michael, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. And the dragon lost the battle, and he and his angels were forced out of heaven. heaven. This, this great dragon, the ancient serpent, called the, the devil, or Satan, the one deceiving the world, was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. Then I heard a voice shouting across the heavens, It has come at last, salvation and power, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to earth, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. And they, they defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and, and by, by their, their testimony. testimony. And, and they, they did not love their lives, their lives so much, much that they were afraid, afraid to die. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you, and you who live in the heavens, heavens rejoice, but terror will come on the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you in great anger, knowing that he has little time. When, when the, the dragon realized that he had been thrown down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But she was given the wings like those of a great angel, ego, so she could the place prepared for her in the wilderness. There she would be cared for and protected from the dragon for a time, times, and half a time. Then, then the, the dragon, dragon tried to drown the woman with a flood of water and flood from his mouth. But, but the earth helped her by opening, opening its mouth and swallowing the river that gushed out from the mouth of the dragon. And, and the, the dragon was angry at the woman and declared war against the rest of her children, all who keep God's commandments and maintain their testimony for Jesus. That is the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, Kakano, this is how I put the topic of our sermon today. It is specifically picked from verse number 12. Where it says, Great is the enemy's wrath, but take heed, help is available. Take heart. Help is a variable. Ntikale musanyoke, e guru, nabali tulamu. Zimusanze, zisanze ensi, nenyanja, kubanga omuliolyomi, aseje muli, ngalina obusungu bunji. Na ngamanyi, ngalina, ngamanyi inti alina kasera katono. So that's where we are picking topic. Like I Great is the enemy's wrath. But take heart, help is available. Liberation, the oh. book itself talks about the past, the present, and the future. 
But beginning from verse number 1 to 6. Here in this chapter you will see that they are talking about the birth of the son who is our Lord Jesus Christ. And his safety to heaven. Then when you look at verse 7 to 12, the dragon was defeated and was cast down on the earth. Let's, let's specifically begin from verse number 9. Let, let's see from the, 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 the King James Version. Verse number 9. He says, And the, the great, great dragon, dragon was, was cast, cast out, out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiving, deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. He's a great dragon. The ancient serpent. The deceiver of the whole world. Children of God. The Bible has said Bible He's a great dragon. He's of old. He has been there for some good time. So the one attacking you has Ka been there for so long. He's very fierce and very powerful. But his tactics or his weapons they have told us is a liar. So the dragon who is Satan has the capacity to lie the whole world. They did not say that he has the capacity to lie a family. Not a village. Not only a country. He doesn't have the capacity to lie only one continent. But he has the capacity to lie the whole world. So our enemy is not so small as some people put him. Is of old. He has been there for good time. You, you are of the 10th generation. Your forefathers passed on. Some of you that, are, that I'm speaking to, even your father is not here or mother. Or the devil knew them. The devil knows what won your fathers. The devil knows what won your mother. He has been there for good time. And his tactics are the same. He lies. So I want you to know. He has a great wrath. Because there are things he knows that you don't know. Why does he have a great wrath? We are about to see. Look at verse number 12. The Bible has said, Therefore rejoice you who are in heaven. And you that dwell in the heavens. But woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And those who are on the sea. For the devil has come down unto you with great wrath. This is something that the devil knows. He has a very short time. So I have come to share with you. 
The enemy knows that he has a very little time. My question and my concern is Are you aware about that? Are you aware that the devil knows that he has a very little time? What about yourself? Do you know the time you have here? So because the devil knows he has a very little time Whatever he does, he does does it intentionally he does it smartly when he decides to attack he knows what won that family he will use the same thing his, his mission is to steal, to kill and destroy and his weapons are the same he lies So when he comes to attack just as the Bible says he's a thief when the thieves on this world plan to come and steal they utilize the little time they have and they take whatever they can take. That's why it is advisable when the thief enters your house without your knowledge to surrender because they are ready to kill. They came to steal but if you try to resist they are ready to kill. They can also destroy. Are you aware about the little time you have? Your enemy has come with a great wrath. Reason? He knows he has very limited time. Look at verse number 13. The Bible has said, and when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman with God's the man child. So the enemy's pursuit is not only you. The enemy pursues your treasure. The enemy knows where you benefit most. And when he comes to attack, not only you, but even the treasure you have. Because the Bible has said, he pursued the woman and the child that he gave to birth. Brethren, I'm here to inform you that when our enemy attacks, he doesn't only attack you, but he even attacks your family. That's why you find that if the father was was a drunkard. He has to make sure that these children have to drink. If he was a womanizer, he wants also to make them do the same. Praise the Lord. Amen. I came to speak to you. <coughs> Your <coughs> enemy has come with a great wrath. So don't be lazy. <coughs> Don't be naive. Totia. Pray for what you have. Pray for your children. Pray for your business. Pray for your village. Pray for everything. Because the enemy, the dragon, the old man, the serpent wants to destroy everything. Kubango mulabe wo setani ogusoto go gwagala kusanya wo. Look at verse number 14. The Bible has said. Bible e Gambia. And to the woman was given two wings of a great eagle. Omukazi na we webi wa wati yo bibiri e bien pungu. That she might fly into the wilderness. Into her place where she is nourished for a time. And a times and a half a time for the face of the serpent. So this is a metaphor. Which you can also identify in Exodus chapter number 19. Look at verse number 4. Exodus chapter 19 and verse number 4. That's the, the metaphor. 
Okuva chikela kenye nzibwa okuva 19 nya. You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians. Nti walaba bya chenakola eri aba Misri. How I bear you on eagle's wings and brought you into my staff. Ngabwe nakuteka kubiwa watu bya mpungu ne kujayo. So go back to our text. Today you to bad God was speaking to the children of Israel. Katonda eri ayogera eri abana ba Israeli. And he was telling them that to rescue you I had to put you on my wings. There was no way the children of Israel would have escaped. Because in Egypt they were bound to spend all the time there and they had all the, the weapons to make them nothing on this planet. So verse 14 says and the woman was given two wings of great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. Omukazi nawe bwa biwawatiro bibiri ebye mpungu enene aliokabuke where she will be nourished for a time times and half a time from the face of the serpent aliokabuke okutuka mudungu mu kifoche jali jali sinzibwa ekisera nebisera nechitundu che kisera mu maso go musota so I, I remember the topic i said the enemy has a great wrath jukira natandi sengamba omulamu agwa fentu omulabe i know so herep is available na yeguma kubanga obuyambi we buli so god's care for you myself i'm the church katonda engeri ja tulabirira mugwe nange ne kaniso kutwali awamu is available we we okuyambi we buli though it appears in the desert na wangu badenga kirabikanga you are in the desert oli mudungu yet you are guarded na yatengo okumibwa and you are well nourished atera ngo lisiwa bulunji do you want me to take time to talk about what happens in the desert oyagala ntu alaka banga okunyonyole cheche bela mudungu there's no water tewaba mazzi no food tewaba mmere a lot of heat But the Bible has said God will put you on his wings. In other words, quickly for you to understand. Who is that person who has wings? God will send his angels. No matter either you are in the desert whatever place where you are. You will be well guarded. And you will be well nourished. The Bible says for a time Bible yagamba rich sera or raka sera and half a time era no rich tundu che sera signifies a time of being blessed chiraga ech sera cho kubango olabi even when you were persecuted by the enemy ne wanku badengo obero yiganyizibwa omulabe it will be a time chija kubera chi sera we have a time chija kubera chi tundu cha chi sera chija kubera cha chi sera we know there is persecution going on we wao tumanyi waliwo okuiganyizibwa kugena maso yes we know there is suffering that is going on we wao tumanyi waliwo kubona abono kugena maso but take heart you are well guarded na yegumo moyo kumi dwa bulunji acknowledgement supplies come from the father in heaven era no bugabirizi bujanga buveri chitafali muguru do you want me to expound more about that atoya galecho nyongero chinyonyola don't you remember when we were here in, during covid time tojukira bwe twali wano mchisera cha covid many of us were at home abasinga kufetwali waka there is no work tewali kola save for the doctors okule kampo za basawo for the policemen and the soldiers abasirikale naba kwasibe mungu but as a, as, 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 a, as a body as a whole na yeye kutwa abantu wono kutwaliza wamu all of us were at home twalinga waka where did you get the supplies ebyo kulisi bwa bijawa how comes that the whole world did not die nchija chitange nsiyo nate yafa when you move out nowadays <laughs> We even wonder where the people come from. We don't know how to serve his people. So let the devil lie to you that you are dying tomorrow. There is nourishment that comes from the Father. Look at verse number 15. The Bible has said. And the serpent cast out his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood ntio no musota neguwandula okuva mukamwa kaago enya enyuma wo mukazi amazi ngo mugga gulyoke gumutwaze gumutwaze omugga 
The serpent poured out water like a river from his mouth. Ntio musota guno gwawa ndula amazi okuva mukama kaabo. Flip the woman with the flood. Gusobola okutwala omukazi ono nga mataba. What is the meaning? Chitegeza chi. The enemy is serious with his attack. Eh omulabe munyikivu ku nsonga ye kulumba. Flip you away completely. Era yagala kuyerewa ku malire wodala. Bring it home. Bring the message home. <coughs> The enemy wants to destroy you and your family completely. The enemy wants to destroy you and your work completely. So that means the enemy will try to attack and destroy God's people. How? The Bible has said the, 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 the water, the flood will come from his mouth. What is the interpretation there? Look at Genesis chapter number 3. And verse number 13. Genesis 3 and verse number 13. The Bible says God said to the woman. What is this that you have done? And the woman says, The serpent seduced me, she said, and I ate. So the, the, the serpent uses his mouth to seduce people with lies. I told you you are enemies of age. He's of old. Weapons are just the same. He lied Eve using his mouth by giving her stories. Is that what God said? And then you begin to engage him with the talk. I'm here to warn you. Don't engage yourself with the devil in the talk. Because he's a liar. Whatever comes from him are lies. You have seen Eve giving a testimony. The devil seduced me with a lie. And I ate. Brethren, the devil is using his lies. As I told you, he has the capacity to lie the whole world. How sure are you that what you are, what you are believing is not a lie? How many people have we lost because they have been lied to? People have talked bad things because of you. They have talked lies about you and another one leaves you. We've seen people leaving churches going to another church because they lied to them. We've seen people leaving this country to another country lying to them that the other country is better yet they are going to die from there. How many of you have divorced your first woman and thinking the second woman is going to be the best yet it's a lie from the devil? Remember, he uses the same weapon. The guy is of old. He knows what he's doing. So my question is, what is the devil using to deceive you? Some of you have hated your family. Because the devil lied to you that your family hates you. Some of you have hated your parents. Because the devil lied to you that they had money and they didn't take you to school. Some of you, you are about to die because the devil is lying to you that you see your skin, it seems cancer has come. Who told you that any sickness that attacks you is cancer? Who told you because you had a scratch on your ear, now you are going to be blind? I read in the news now, the other time people were saying, you see, the devil kills a lot of people in November and October in accidents. I don't know how true it is, but I, me, I know that every time people die by, by, of accidents. So also you, you are now feeling walking uh, 
in fear that any time the border border is knocking me kati nawo lyawo limukutia nokutambula ngogame sawa yona baba border bagena kuntomera the devil lied the children of israel Setani yalimba abana ba Israeli As much as they saw that God had called them on his wings No one could badenga bali bala byanga katonda so ba wanili ya kubwa watu We on the Red Sea Never to ka kunyanje miufu That's what I can term now as a desert to them Echo chenyizo kuite dungu je bali They came and spoke to Moses Baja ne bogere li Musa Why did you have to take us away from Egypt Rachi watu jamusi ya Misiri They were this there was this there were graves why did you take us away Wali emboga wali enyama wali ye bintu bingi rwachi watujayo wali abantu abamanyi twaitulia i think egypt was the best for them na yo kaka santi misiri che challenge fetch singo bulunje bali that where they were going is the land that was flowing with the honey and milk toma nyinti je bali balaga ye yali ense ku kutama tano mbisi gwenjuchi the devil using to lie to you omulere setani akosa cho kulimba look at verse number 16 turabore 10 mukaga the bible says bible yegamba in our text Wetu somye baby yegamba. And the earth helped the woman. Ensi ne yambo mukazi. And the earth opened her mouth. Ensi ne yasamya kamakayo. And swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Ne wandula ne nywa ne sorry. Ensi ne yasamya kamakayo. Ne nywa omugga omusota gwe ya gwe gwa wandula okuva mu kamakagwo. Brethren I came to speak to you. Aboluganda nazo kuogera je muri. Your hope is just where you are standing. Ntio buyambi bwo buli hawo wenyini wo yimiride. Just don't see your hope but is here. Tonna bakulaba bulabi buyambi bwo nenga we buli. I say the devil from his mouth brought out flood. Ntio kuva mu kamakomo komo sota neguwandula amazi agama taba. What the devil did not know. Satan cha tamanya. But the earth can also open its mouth and then swallows the flood. Ntinesi na Yesu bolo kwasa miaka makayo ne nywa amazi gonago. I'm here to tell you that devil is attacking but there is something he doesn't know. Nkundiwa nokutegeza nti omulaba ali mukulumba na ye waliwo cha tamanya. There is something he doesn't know. Waliwo na ye cha tamanya. Your help is just next where you are. Obuyambi we buli au kumpi woli. Help is just next where you are. Obuyambi we buli au kumpi woli. The Bible says in Psalms 121. Zabuli ndinaimu <laughs> Ntinai msama soga angelie nsozi okuberwa kwange kulivawa okuberwa kwange kuliveri mukama e yakola egulunensi He will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keep thee will not slumber Tali ganya chigerecho kusaga sagana akukuma ta, akukuma tabongota tabongota He that keep Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep Laba akuma Israeli tabongo tabongo tenga so teyeba kenga The Lord is thy keeper the Lord is thy shed upon the light the right hand Mukama ye mukumi wo mukama che chisikirize cho ku mukono gwo ogwadio So you will read the psalm and finish it but my point is you can look east west north south where will your help come from Oja kusoma malilize za buli eno nayo yizo kutunula ku mukono guno obaguli no buzo buyambi bwange buna ava The Bible has said our help comes from the Lord him who made the heavens and the earth Na ye Bible ya gamen to buyambi bwa febu veli mukama oye yakole gulunensi He knows where your help will come from Ama nyo buyambi bwo je buna ava Your help can come from the rocks Obuyambi bwo busobola kuva mu Your help can come from anywhere provided you trust in God Obuyambi bwo busobola kuva mu chifocho na kavuna go salawo kwesiga mukama Praise be to God Amen You remember in the book of John chapter number 6 Ojukira mu chabo cha Yohana sura yo mukaga The people were suffering with hunger Abantu bali babona abona ne njala none of them knew ngate wali no mukubama nyi hope was with them nti obuyambi bwa bwali wamuna bo bible says jesus told them that give these people food bible ya gama anti yesu na gama abantu bano mbawe cho kulia and people says no even if we buy food for 200 uh, 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 200 pence cannot help them 
Filipo na kama na yemu kama chisobo kachitia Nebo tuko hata dinari ya bikumi bibiri Ne tuko hama tuwagulia mele Lata soba la bama tiza And then someone said in verse 7 Na yemu nyo romu samvu Andrew says Andre, Andrew na gamba Look at the next verse There is a lad here There is a boy here Which has five bare loaves and two small fish but what can they do among so many people? Nti wali wo mulenzi wano aina ebya nyanja bibiri ne migate 5 na yebye bintu binza kugasa cha abantu bana abenka nde wano. Fact, you all know that there were more than 5000 people there. Amazima gali nti abantu bali basuka mu 10 bali bali mutwecho. Speaking you cannot say that five loaves of bread and two fish can feed people. Ngo muntu tosobola gama nti emigate 5 ne ebya nyanja bibiri bisobola kuliza abantu. No way. Tewali ingeri yona. Na yeka tonda manyi. So don't despise yourself. No recho tewe nyoma. Don't despise the little that you have. Tewe nyoma chitone chocholina. Don't despise that church where you are going. Tewe nyoma kanisa yo jogenda mu. Don't despise that family that you were born in. Tewe nyoma ya makaga go wazali buamu. You never know what God can do. Tewe manyi katonda chichicha yuzo kola. God is God. Katonda sigala katonda. Don't despise that job where you are working. Tewe nyoma mulimu ogo go kola ko. You never know why God took you there. Tewe manyi ruachi katonda. Any time, the Bible has said, Bible Gambia, for a half time, a time, and a time, so you never know where it will come from. If it is not today, maybe tomorrow, if it is not this month, maybe the next one, if it is not this year, maybe the other year, the Bible has said half a time, and a time, at a time, who knows? Trust in God. Don't accept the devil to lie to you. Because your hope is just where you are standing. Let's go back to our text. Look at verse number 17. The Bible has said, And the dragon was worth with the woman, was with the woman and went to make her Make war with the remnant of the seed which kept the commandment of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Nti ogusota negusungu walida omukazi negugenda okuruana na abomu zade liaba sigala wo abakwata ebila giro biaka tonda era abalina okutegeza kwa Yesu. Remember I told you the enemy has great wrath against you. Juki na nagami enti omulabe akuilina kwa busungu bunji. But not only you. Na yesi go weka. He's looking at your seed. Atunuri ane zaderio. He wants to destroy the work that you have begun today. Ayagalo kuzikiriza nechu cho zade. But don't allow him to do so. Na yeto munganya kuchikola. Have faith in God. Bela neo kukiriza mukama. If God help the woman. Katona babanga ya yambo mukazi. The earth help the woman. Ayambi wa mukazi. We are also standing on the earth. Where do you get the oil? Where do you get the gold? Where do you get the silver? We are still standing on the earth. Our hope is coming soon. Look at the book of Daniel chapter number 10. And verse number 21. There is something that here the angel says. The Bible says, Meanwhile, I will tell you what is written in the book of the truth. I like this. No one helps me against this spirit princess except Michael, your spirit prince. He says, Meanwhile, I will tell you, I will tell you what is written in the book of the truth. No one is helping us. But there is a man called Michael. That is the chief angel. That is the angel. The one who leads the first in heaven. If the angel told Daniel that. I want to stand here as your angel. To tell you that no one is on your side. But there is Michael. Who is on your side. Your hope is coming soon. Look in the book of 2 Kings chapter number 6. 
verse number 16. The Bible says. Elisha tells his servant. Don't be afraid. For those on our side are more than them on their side. The devil is a liar. He will lie to you that you are poor. I've seen the devil lying to these young men that you cannot afford a wedding. <laughs> you are not known by many people. I've seen the devil lying to people that you cannot build. Those are lies of the enemy. Our God is not a respect of person. After the Bible says, whoever believes and trusts in him, our God will come to his rescue. So don't allow the devil to lie to you. Don't accept the lies of the evil one. Look at it in Psalms chapter number 84 and verse number 5. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Verse 6. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of leaf fleshing springs. The Ottoman rains will clothe it with blessings. They will continue to grow stronger and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? The devil is a liar. Even when you are walking in the shadow of death, you will reach your destiny. Yes, they will continue to grow stronger. You will become stronger and stronger. Those waves that are hitting you, they are making you stronger and stronger. When you overcome that lie the devil brought to you, you are becoming stronger and stronger. And the Bible has said, and each of you will appear before God in Jerusalem. In other words, every one of us we will reach our destiny. Come on, praise the Lord. So as much as there's great wrath that the enemy is bringing to you, your help is just where you are. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. You are such a wonderful God. You are a mighty Father. You overcame the enemy 2,000 years ago at Calvary. And, and we, we have, have seen that value. the devil uses lies from the beginning to death. But since you overcame him, we shall overcome. If the help of the woman came from the earth, our help will come from the earth. Father, I'm praying for that child of God. I'm praying for that woman. I'm praying for that man who has been wicked by the lies of the devil. And whenever he looks at himself, he sees death all around him. I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are not dying dying now. The Lord is bringing help. They will not chase you from that place. For your help is just where you are. In the name of the Father and of the Son, you are not a failure. You are a head, you are not a tail. That is what the Bible says. You will appear before the Father. You will reach your destiny. Just because you overcame him, you will overcome. In Jesus' name. Let us sing this song as we wind up. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Balwani ba Yesu, we see in Koba. Mwane masaja, tuli wangula, tuli no mugale, asinga wona. 
Even though the devil brings his lies. Amen. Amen.